Aloha and welcome to Senior Grinds. It's that portion of our program where we travel the big island of Hawaii looking for places for our seniors to eat. And here's another one that's guaranteed good. It's called the Hilo Lane's Diner and I'm here with one of the owners. This is Diane Kawamoto and Diane, um, welcome to the program. I understand you guys get good grinds over here, is that right? Of course, everything's good <laughs> grinds here. <laughs> and here we have Bonnie. You know, she comes here every day. What she eats? I eat a cheeseburger every day of the week. I bowl three, four days a week, and I eat a cheeseburger. It's best in town. So you've been operating for about 11 years with, with your husband? Yes, we yeah. have. And your husband's name is? Raymond Kaomoto. Okay. And they tell me this place is real good, Diane, because you guys you guys make, you know, the hamburgers are all homemade. Is that true? Yes. Our hamburgers are homemade and our recipe comes from Raymond and his friends who created the uh, recipe when we first started taking over the restaurant. Kara, I know you eat here a lot. What's your favorite dish? Well, my favorite is uh, the teriyaki hamburger. It's so delicious, even without mayonnaise. I, I, that's what I eat every time. Wow, teriyaki, yeah, hamburger, even without mayonnaise. Also, I understand you guys have all daily specials and stuff, right? Plate lunches? Yes, we do. And gi give us a range of what to what. Well, we have beef stew, we have Chinese chicken salad, mm -hmm. we have fried salmon, mm -hmm. stir fries, mm -hmm. and we have cutlets. Korean chicken. Oh, it's a pretty varied menu, yeah? You know, another interesting thing we ran across, you guys sell senior meals, eh, you guys call that? Yes, it is. Of course, it's much cheaper, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Definitely cheaper. Hey, we got a lot of seniors here, you know, especially my friend here, Roy Toma. He comes out to Hilo Bowling Alley Bowls. He's not the best bowler, but he loves to eat. So, Roy, what do you think about the food here? Excellent. You guys got to come and uh, try the Fried Saimin, one of the best. You see, you see? Not a good bowler, but he loves his food. Unreal. <laughs> yeah, Diane, uh, can you explain what, what we have here? Okay, first of all, this is the Dream Burger, which is a half a pound gravy cheeseburger deluxe. Oh, 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 oh. Then we have the Fried Saimin. Oh! And then the fried manapua, oh. along with your mango smoothie. Yeah. You, <laughs> you know, that was, that was so good. You know, I tell you what, whenever you go to any bowling alley, the ration is where it's at. The food is so outstanding. Some of bowling alleys, really good food, eh, Diane? Eh? That's true, I tell you, that's Honolulu, true. wherever you go to bowling alley, man, I always go there and eat. Cause I, and I and I don't see why. People should come here from the office, lunchtime, come here, eat. You don't have to bowl. Come here and eat. Just to right. eat. That'll be really nice if they Fantastic. come. Fantastic. Yes. So by the way, Diane, uh, you guys do catering? Yes, we do some catering up until 250 people only. Small catering. Oh, fantastic. Hey, dream burger. <laughs> huh? See, our burgers are all homemade also. Wow! It's a dream gravy burger. Man, I tell you what, you eat this, eh? you're going to dream about it tonight. You're going to come back the next day. Fantastic. <laughs> I get a I need one more bite, yeah. Dream burger. <laughs> wow! This is so good. You need pan and napkin. It's so juicy. Wow! Yeah, let me take this time in. Again, this fried time is loaded with all these goodies. Look at that. Ah, I love fried time in. Wow. Oh. oh. The dashi is perfect. Everything is so perfect in there. Thank you. you get all the right ingredients. Hey, where you <laughs> learn how to cook? Huh? My mother. Oh, is that hey, all this homemade cooking? You guys should all come down. Unreal. And yeah, this is one of our favorites. It's fried manapua. You know, and inside there is like loaded with all these goodies. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. Man. Fried manapua. Unreal. I tell you what, Diane, everybody should come down here. 
Bowling alley always have the greatest food. You come down to Hilo Lanes, Bowling alley, and see Diane. <laughs> and you know what? You guys can even cater, call her, make arrangement, right? Right. What's the number? Our number is 933-9280. Yeah, I want to just come down in person. Unreal. Good Thank job. You. She learned how to cook from mommy. <laughs> yeah, so it's all home cooked food here. Yeah. Unreal. Food, yes. Hi, I'm Pauline Fukunaga of Hawaii County Office of Aging, and I have an important message for you seniors out there. You can stretch your food dollars, and this program may even change your life. It's the SNAP program, S-N-A-P, and it stands for Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. It's administered by the Hope Services Hawaii. And here with me is Kay Lundberg, who will explain a HOPE and the SNAP program. Thank you, Pauline. We're very excited about the outreach component of SNAP. You may be familiar with SNAP. It was formerly known as food stamps. But today, we have some news for you that may help, it, may help make it easier for you to access these services. We have outreach workers who can call, you can call to determine if you're eligible. They can also assist with your annual recertification for SNAP. Um, my name is Yoshiko, and it really benefited me because <laughs> I can buy more food and, yeah, uh, at least, you know, I I can save some of my money and all that. Yeah, so the SNAP program really helped me, yeah. And you were also visited by an outreach yes. worker? Yeah, Allison, yeah. The SNAP program will help stretch your dollars. So at the end of the month, you'll have additional money to pay bills and also to uh, purchase medication. Hi, my name is May Lou. I, I, I love, bit, I love uh, SNAP because it really, really helped me out. I can pay more bills and buy more food. Our SNAP outreach program is sponsored by the USDA, the State of Hawaii, Department of Human Services, and Hawaii Community Foundation. It would be important for you to know that if you have ever resisted applying for SNAP because you didn't want to stand at the long lines of the DHS office, or maybe you were embarrassed to go into the DHS office, outreach workers will come to you a phone call away and they will make an appointment to see you. My name is Gladys and um, the SNAP program has been a big help to me. Uh, there were months when I went without and with the help of the uh, program, I'm able to buy more groceries and, and use whatever uh, I spent for that before. I'm able to pay more bills. Great. And were you visited by an outreach specialist? Yes, Allison. And I thank her for uh, getting me to in this program, really. So once again, that's the SNAP program, S-N-A-P. So call Lisa at East Hawaii at 938-7239 or Allison in West Hawaii at 217-5129. So do yourself a favor, call in and see if you qualify. It may change your life. As I was having lunch, I saw my friend Glenn Hara, president of THY. I wanted to know who he was having lunch with. These are my agents from ta um, Taiwan, Quincy Lin and his son Ken. Wow, so you know, what, what do they sell us? They uh, manufacture the local slippers. Wow, the local Ramazori. Wow, you know something, it's one of the famous things here in Hilo. Unreal, Glenn. Yeah, thank you. I wear local brand slippers. Although it is manufactured in Taiwan, it is owned and distributed by THY, a local company in Hilo. I feel rubber slippers or Zori is the most comfortable, but it's also the most affordable and fashionable footwear that can be worn at any casual occasion. You can find local slippers in all sizes, colors, and designs at Taiti Superstores and Waikolo Village Market. Whether you're wearing it as an indoor slippers or an outdoor slippers, 
Buy your rubber slippers today at KTA and Waikolo Village Market. Today we're here joining the Hilo Orchid Society's 58th annual show here at the Kanako Oli Stadium in Hilo. With me, Cheryl Rawson. This is our 58th annual orchid show this year. Our theme is jackpot of orchids. Mm -hmm. And people who come here are just going to have a jackpot by seeing all the orchid things. I see. How many displayers or, or different groups are involved here today? We have about 50 different groups, 25 Whoa. different displayers, 25 different <laughs> vendors. I see. And uh, tell, tell us, what else is going on besides you know, the orchid uh, competition? Well, we have a lot of interesting lectures, demonstrations mm -hmm. on orchid growing, mm -hmm. orchid propagating, mm -hmm. flower arranging. Mm -hmm. I understand. You, you're going to be selling some of the plants also? Oh, absolutely. This is a time that people can get great Why? Price. Why? Is it inexpensive? It is inexpensive <laughs> and the variety is so much better than what you can find just in the farmers markets or I see. anywhere else. Yeah, sure. I'll tell me. They tell us that from all over the world people come and join this one. That's right. Last year we collected information and we are this year also. We had people from Mexico, Sweden, Canada, all over wow. Australia. <laughs> So this is the biggest in the state of Hawaii, the best in the state of Hawaii, and we're going to take a look and talk to some of the people involved here. Hi George, I'd like to introduce you to one of our society's uh, officers, vice president. This is Ben Oliveros, who runs Orchid Eros in Mountain View. Ben, how long you been at this? I've been growing orchids in Hawaii for six years. I see. But you've been around. Uh, in uh, the, I've yeah. been in the business uh, for about 20 years now. Wow, and you're holding? I'm holding a plant that, that I bred. Um, you know, you do all kind of hybrids. I, I like making hybrids and right. seeing new, new flowers. Yeah. George, I'd also like to inter introduce you this morning to Glenn Barfield. Glenn is one of our Orchid Society members. He works at Orchid Works in Hakalau, but runs his own nursery called Okika Nursery. He's known as one of the best hybridizers around, but he's also got an interesting background. He was a surfer. He moved here from California. Tell us a little about your orchids here. Uh, well, this group is called Oncidinae. Uh, and they're a combination of warm growing and cool growing plants uh, from down to the basin of the Amazon all the way to the top of the Andes. George, I'd like to introduce you to Leonard Gines. He's one of our Orchid Society members and he runs Gines Orchids in Paradise Park. He's known as somebody who is an expert in species, growing species. Tell us about species. Are you holding one of them? Yes, this is Dendrobium cruentum right here. This is from Papua New Guinea. Uh, these are flowers that will last three or four months easily. Now the species are, uh, is, a, is, is an orchid you would find growing in its natural, natural setting. Yeah, not a hybrid. This is like, not a hybrid. Mm -hmm. And um, they're they're significant uh, to me as it's, it's Mother Nature's work, work, work of art. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing, this is my last reincarnation. I've been, a, I've been a cut flower grower, a potted plant grower, and now I'm doing what I always wanted to do, which was grow the species. Thank you so much for accommodating us, and hey, good luck on the show. It's a pleasure to be with you, and thank you so much.